So in 2017, I started my very first YouTube channel. I was out on the streets doing drunk interviews and the very first video I did, I was asking people, who do you think would win a boxing fight between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather? Now, at the time I was working in a factory slaughtering chickens and I was also in college working as a bartender and I also had a business doing YouTube automation. So I had like five different things I was doing at the same time. Anyways, my factory job, they offered me full-time hours if I could come in five days per week. So I was literally considering dropping out of college to kill chickens for the rest of my life. Just imagine that, bro. Imagine spending 50 years working in a slaughterhouse, annihilating chickens. <laughs> I was pretty good at it, but that's another story. So I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but the reason I hadn't is because my anxiety was killing me. I was worried about, you know, what people would think about it. What would my friends from my hometown think? Would people think that all of a sudden I was being confident on camera, even though I didn't used to be confident in high school? Would that mean I was a fraud? You know what I mean? So I had all these like anxieties around actually doing something I was really interested in. And I also procrastinated a bit. I didn't know what to make a channel about, but I thought it would be funny if I went downtown and I asked drunk people who would win this fight between Connor and Floyd. I was worried that People weren't going to be receptive to my questions. They weren't going to want to be on camera. I was going to be awkward. They were going to talk shit to me. And guess what? All of that happened. <laughs> That's literally how it went. People made fun of me. They were grabbing the mic and trying to steal it from me. They were talking shit. And it was super awkward at times. But the point I'm making is I pushed through it. I was scared the whole time, but I kept going. And I remember getting into the car with my buddy to drive home afterwards and just feeling this huge sense of relief. Because at that point, it wasn't even about the subject of the video. It was about me stepping out of my comfort zone, going in front of the camera, knowing I was probably going to fail, but doing it anyways. A few days later, the video went viral and I got my first 100 subscribers. But more importantly, this made me confident, knowing that people would watch videos about me. So I kept doing more. A couple years later, I ended up growing a massive YouTube channel to 850,000 subscribers. And this ended up giving me the freedom that I enjoy now, where I essentially have been self-employed for the last five years. I don't have a job. I don't have a boss. I've spent so much time, effort, and energy working my ass off to get to the point that I'm in right now. But the biggest thing that was always holding me back wasn't hard work. It was actually anxiety because I knew this is what I wanted to do, but I was just so afraid to do it. And instantly, after I did achieve this success, I started making YouTube videos. I started making a living doing it. I kept asking myself, man, why didn't I do this sooner? And that's the situation that I think most of you find yourself in. You have something that you really want to do, but there's anxiety holding you back. And each day you convince yourself not to worry about it, because you have so much time ahead of you. But one day you're gonna wake up and you're not gonna have any time. And you're gonna realize that your entire life was wasted because of your anxiety. That's a terrifying thought to have. But I want you to really think about that. If you're a young man right now like me, just imagine 20, 30 years from now, you're 40 years old, you're having a midlife crisis. You don't have the same resources, the energy, the time, the confidence, the momentum that you could have right now if you actually went for it. The sad reality is that most of you think you're living life, but you're not. Your life is actually living you. And anxiety is holding you back from a life that you could be living. So maybe you're not even living life right now. You're living other people's lives. I want you to imagine something right now. What could you accomplish if you had no anxiety? Let's start with some basics, right? Number one, you would never get bullied because you'd stand up for yourself every single time. You'd have a million amazing friends or five amazing friends. You get a choice because you could go out of your way and meet these people you want to be friends with, make them laugh, provide enough value that they actually want to spend time with you and they consider you a close friend as well. Instead of you being stuck with the same old group of people that you don't actually have anything in common with besides the fact you went to the same high school together. That girl you have a crush on that you passed by and you're never going to see again, you would have had the confidence to go and talk to her, ask her out on a date. Maybe she had a boyfriend, maybe she wasn't interested in you, but at least you would know instead of going to sleep with regret, wishing that you took that shot and you didn't. 
that idea you have to turn into a business, you would have the confidence to actually start that business. Maybe you're like me and you wanted to start a YouTube channel because you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars by speaking to a camera for a couple hours per week. It's literally the best job ever, bro. Like, I love what I do. I used to work in a chicken factory. I used to work as a landscaper. I was a driller where I'd have to commute to Brampton every day. I'd be working 14 hours a day, come home absolutely exhausted, and I would drown myself in Big Mac, French fries, and chocolate milkshakes until I got into a food coma and I passed out and I did it all over again the next day. I worked my ass off to get where I am right now. But like I said before, it wasn't the hard work that was holding me back. It was anxiety. It was what other people thought about me. Imagine if you no longer had that. I want you to picture that. It's an amazing life. All those musicians you listen to, at some point, they were afraid of what other people would think of their music. They were so close to not publishing that song on SoundCloud or sharing it with their friends. They were so close to not going on stage at that open mic night and telling their first joke. They were so close to never even picking up the camera and filming that first video in the first place. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Anxiety is a motherfucker, bro. It's literally what dictates most people's lives. And if you have a hard time understanding this, I want to give you a funny example, okay? If you've ever been drunk before, your inhibition gets way lower, so you have no confidence issues. These are the dudes that end up going and talking to the girl that is probably going to reject them anyways because they're hammered and they're sloppy. Like, oh, you're cute, right? But the guy has the confidence to do it. The dude that gets up on stage, sings his fucking heart out in karaoke. All of a sudden, he has the confidence to do it. These guys that start fights outside of bars because they're fucking emotional and drunk and stupid, they never would start a fight in real life if not for being drunk, okay? But the problem is we can't just be drunk all the time, bro. You can't just be on substances and rely on them. A lot of artists and CEOs, unfortunately, they have alcohol problems. That's why Alcoholics Anonymous is such a popular thing. It's dangerous and you should never have to rely on a substance in order to be confident because that's not sustainable. It's not healthy. There's a million just different reasons with it. But that's how most guys get the confidence to talk to girls. They can't cold approach a girl in real life. So they have to go to a bar, have a couple drinks, and that's how they end up getting the leads that they do. You know what I mean? So what I want you to do is think about what people are really doing when they're numbing themselves. Because on a daily basis, there's that thing you really want to do, but you're not working towards it. Why? Well, because you're afraid to. You're afraid of failure. And you're distracting yourself, which becomes your form of procrastination. Think about it this way, right? Oh, I can't go to the gym. Oh, I got to get up early to go to work. Instead of waking up earlier so you have enough time to go to the gym, you just talk yourself out of it. Oh man, I really do want to work on this music thing, but oh, I got to make money. I got to pay rent. You know what I mean? Oh, I'd love to hang out with you, bro, but oh, I'm busy. And then you go home and you watch sports or video games. You know what I mean? On average, young people, young men under the age of 25 spend three to four hours per day on their phone. How many hours are you spending on your phone? Just pull it out right now. Check your screen time. You can comment it down below, but realistically, bro, you're probably spending so much more time than you need to in front of a screen on your computer, on your phone, on a daily basis. And because of that, you're not pursuing the goals you actually want to. And it's literally destroying your life. It doesn't feel like it because you're young and each day just goes by. But I'm telling you, bro, 5, 10, 15 years from now, you're going to look back and be like, I'm a fucking idiot, dude. You're going to blame other people for why you weren't successful. You know what I mean? So this YouTube channel I'm telling you about, my very first channel, I started it in like 2017. That's almost seven years ago, bro. Okay? Imagine if I didn't do that and I just started to start a YouTube channel now. Think about all the things I would have had to redo now. Like if you could go back seven years ago and do things differently, you would probably change a million things. And that's my point, man. The best time to plant trees was 10 years ago. But the second best time to plant trees is right now. So even though you are being held back by your anxiety, you don't need to be. Fuck it, bro. Just do it anyways. 
That's my point. Most men dictate their entire lives by what other people think about them. In society, we have laws and we have rules and then we have unspoken rules. When you go to the grocery store, it would be weird if you just started breakdancing. If you were at Walmart, it'd be weird if you challenged a random person to do jujitsu, right? However, if you're at a karaoke bar, getting up on stage and screaming into a mic, that's not weird. If you go to a Brazilian jiu-jitsu gym and you roll with one of the other people at that gym, that's not weird at all. So we have like these unspoken rules of what is normal behavior and what is unusual behavior. And I think what happens is from a young age, you have been trained to act a certain way, do certain things based on the approval of others. You're afraid to start your own business because you don't know anything about it. Think about your teachers, the people that raised you and gave you information on a daily basis throughout your childhood. None of them started their own business. All of them went to school, got a degree, went to teacher's college, and they're right back in the system teaching you. So they never actually lived in the real world. I thought that was interesting. When I was in business school, most of my business professors had no actual experience being successful business owners. They're teaching me things that they learned in school, and now they're just teaching to me without actually having that much experience in the industry. Now, I had some teachers that were amazing, but my point is, bro, like your influence right now is people that don't have actual experience. So of course they're going to tell you what works for them. And that's my point, man. All the friends you're currently hanging out with, if they don't run YouTube channels, they're probably going to tell you it's a bad idea. I ran YouTube channels. I've run multiple different YouTube channels. And what I decided to do was build a course called Socializer School, where I teach you how to start your own YouTube channel get it to 100,000 subscribers and make money online by just being yourself because that's what every young person wants to do. You want to make friends, you want to talk to girls and you want to make money online. And when you're a socializer, when you know how to approach and attract people, they'll be your friends. They'll invite you to cool places. Like my first videos, I was always going to parties. I was getting invited to events. I had friends that were willing to film for me and I was very good at talking to people on camera. Why? Because I'm a socializer. And that's my point. When you become a socializer, you can essentially make money by being yourself on camera. There's a million YouTubers out there, okay? I told you my story of how I got started on YouTube, but there's plenty of guys out there that do the same videos as me, but they don't get any views. They don't have any diehard fans or subscribers. They create a private community, nobody joins it. They sell a course, nobody buys it. Why? Because it's not about the fancy edits. It's not about your attractiveness. It's not about how tall you are or whatever limiting beliefs you have in your head. It's about your ability to be authentic, to communicate confidently. And we live in a world where men are terrified to be themselves. In the classroom, you're told not to speak up. You're told to keep your voice down. It's really stressful for me, man. I really do empathize with you young guys because I'm a young man, but I've already gone through all this. I lived a very fast paced early 20s. I was able to get through all this, start this YouTube channel. And now I started this channel about a year and a half ago and it's taken off completely. But I never would have done any of this without being able to overcome my anxiety. So you could live with anxiety and just decide, fuck it, I'm going to do it anyways. Or you could proactively work towards removing that anxiety. So for those of you guys that want to learn how to overcome your anxiety, I actually created a daily protocol. It's totally free. It's called the Socializer Protocol. So you can check that out in the description below. This is different than my paid Socializer School. You don't get like my YouTube courses or my dating courses. It's just a free guide, but there is some helpful worksheets and you can print them out, put them on your wall, and then every day look at them and this will help you get through your anxiety. But what I'm getting at is that you don't have to continue living this way of procrastinating. You're going to watch this video as soon as it's over. You're going to be like, oh, that was cool. But you're still not going to change anything. You're not going to open up that Word document and write down all the ideas for your YouTube channel. You're not going to join my community, get that free protocol. You're not going to join my paid community, get the YouTube course or the dating course because you are afraid. That's my point, man. You're scared. You're afraid because you're worried that you don't actually have what it takes to be the person you want to be. You know what I mean? Some people call it imposter syndrome, but let's call it what it is. You're afraid to be the person you want to be because what if you're not actually good enough? 
What if you try to do the thing that you want to, you tell people about, but you can't actually do it? That would destroy your ego. That would burn you inside. And because of that, you never attempt to do it. So some people call this their shadow self, their shadow career, right? Let's say you want to be a YouTuber. You're not a YouTuber though. Why? Because what if you try to do it and it doesn't work? Now you're going to feel like a failure. So if you don't try and do it, then that means you never failed at it technically. So you're not a loser. So your ego is protected. Isn't that crazy? There's that famous quote by Wayne Gretzky, you miss the shots you don't take. You guys think if you don't take the shot, you're not a loser. The problem with today's generation is they're so afraid to lose that they're not even willing to play. That's the problem. Well, if I don't play the game, I can't lose technically. You should want to lose because if you lose, that's how you learn. And if you get used to losing over and over again and you keep playing anyways, that's how you win. But if you lose and you continue to lose over and over again, that's how you learn. And if you keep learning, that's how you win. All the people that are successful right now, they lost a million times. Guys, my first couple of YouTube videos, aside from that one viral interview, they got no views at all. I had people telling me that I should quit. My videos suck. I had newspaper articles calling me a wannabe YouTuber. I had crazy interactions on the street where people are like, what are you doing? Nobody's going to watch your videos. Get the fuck out of here. People talking shit to my face, bro. And I'll say this, man. I don't recommend getting started doing nighttime interviews in front of a club because people are drunk, they're riled up, they're angry, they're trying to impress girls, and they're trying to goof on you. This is a recipe for disaster, bro, okay? I almost got jumped and stabbed so many times, but the reason I didn't is because I have a way with my words. The club that I used to film at, the owner invited me to film inside the club during the winter time because I was fucking dying outside. It was so cold. And people didn't want to be interviewed outside because, you know, it's freezing outside. So I can maybe talk to them in line. But once they get in, you know, I have to wait till somebody else comes. So he's like, bro, you can come film inside. And I remember we were sitting down one day in the coffee shop. And this guy was kind of like a mentor to me for a little bit. He's been in AA for years and he's turned his life around. And he gave me some really good advice. He's like, the one thing that allows you to succeed in life isn't hard work. It's not dedication. It's not discipline, it's not money, talent, it's experience. And the only way you get experience is by trying, by putting in effort. And as you start to do things more and more, you get experience, which lets you know, hey, I can do this. All of a sudden, the anxiety goes away. You're not afraid anymore. You know what I mean? When you've done the same thing so many times and you know that it's not gonna destroy your life, and if you do, it doesn't matter, you keep pushing forward, okay? But I remember he told me something else. Because this guy's been running a nightclub for years. He's like, how many fights do you think I've been in over the years? 20 years in the nightclub industry. And I was like, I don't know, like 10? I thought he was going to tell me some crazy number. He's like, nope. I was like, five? He's like, nope. I'm like, two? He's like, nope. And I'm like, how many then? And he's like, zero. And I was like, you've been in the club industry 20 years? You've never gotten into a fight? And he's like, no. Do you know why? And this guy wasn't like a big D's guy, okay? I know you're thinking like, oh, maybe he was a tank. No, he wasn't. He's just like a normal sized dude. He's like, I've never gotten into a fight because I know how to use my words. I know how to calm people down. I know how to compromise. And when somebody's upset, I can talk to them, make them feel good. And all of a sudden they relax and they don't need to fight anymore. And I think the lesson in that is that when you are a socializer, when you know how to talk to other people, then you can calm them down because you make them feel good. And when you make people feel good, they listen to you. And when people listen to you, you have influence. When you have influence, you have status, you can make money. And when you have enough leverage, you can make a full-time living as a YouTuber. And I think that right now, the best career to pursue as a young man is being a content creator because it's only gonna get more competitive in the next 10 to 20 years, especially with other countries, AI, and all of the content creators that are gonna be making channels this year, the next couple months, like it's going to get harder and harder. But if you are a socializer, if you know how to speak to others, then you can stand out. If you have your own unique story to tell, your unique perspective, like plenty of my videos, people have done similar concepts, but people want to listen to me talk about them. Why? Because I have experience and I have charisma. And if you have experience and charisma, you definitely have enough to start a YouTube channel. And I don't want you 
to be one of these guys that looks back at the golden age of content creation, where you can literally start a multi-million dollar business talking to a camera and have regrets because of anxiety. So this video isn't necessarily about YouTube anxiety. It's about anxiety overall. But I just know that if I was a young man, I wish I started a YouTube channel when I was a teenager, bro. So if you think that you have what it takes to be a YouTuber and you want to be profitable, make money talking about content, you should check out Socializer School. I have a YouTube course in there where I teach you how I made $450,000 last year, how I made 200,000 subscribers in just under a year. And I did this without leaving my house or doing any kind of crazy content. Like you don't have to be fucking Mr. Beast or you know a travel blogger or whatever. Just talk to the camera like this. The best content creators in the world, the most popular content creators in the world, they're streamers, bro. They literally sit in front of a shitty computer and they talk about random stuff. And people, like hundreds of thousands of people watch them when they go live. You have that power inside of you, but anxiety is holding it back from living. So because of this, you're living this like anxious version of yourself. You're not actually being yourself. You're being this anxious little cockroach version of yourself. So stop being a cockroach, start being a socializer. I'll see you inside the community. And also, if you can't afford the YouTube program, you can still join my free group called the Socializer Protocol. This will get you on a self-improvement journey. I have hundreds of guys in there that are posting wins, like, you know, gym selfies, photos of them with friends. They have like their daily habit tracker printed out and they're checking off all their workouts and they're socializing. And a lot of YouTubers, they just want to entertain you. I want to see you guys share your work. Like if you studied for a test, and you fucking worked your ass off, share it with us. If you just finished like a God tier workout with your buddies, post a selfie. You know what I mean? As long as we have each other, we can do anything we want to in this world. Oftentimes, the reason you have anxiety is because you're alone. So if you feel alone right now, you want to get motivated, you want to actually get some work done and then work your way up to the point where you can start an online business and start printing money, then yeah, you can join my free socializer protocol. That's in the description as well. As always, I love you so fucking much, bro. I believe in you. And remember, don't let anxiety dictate your life, bro. If you're not living the life that you want to right now, it's not because of your parents. It's not because of school. It's not because of society. It's not because of money. It's because of your anxiety. Solve the fucking anxiety problem, and then you can do anything that you want to. I genuinely believe in you, bro. Nobody else does, but I do. All right. I'll see you later.